everybody, Ali from Point Printables here. This is going to be part two of my mouse droid build, and I hope you've guessed what the hidden payload is. It's a custom made scrolling LED sign that I can trigger from my phone. I want this droid to be as interactive as possible. The LED sign lets me trigger different pre programmed messages, and I plan on monitoring audio around the droid so that I can hear what people say and then trigger something different in response. Everybody says BB-8's the hottest thing on the block. Eh. But this is just what I'm choosing to put in my MSC droid. I'm designing the bottom shell to be modular so other builders can put different hidden payloads in if they want. We'll talk more about that later. Right now, let's take a look at the hidden payload feature in CAD. The way this will work is that the scrolling LED sign will be hidden behind this door on the side of the droid, which can open and close. One of my goals with this build is to have this look like a standard mouse droid from the outside, but to have some goodies hidden inside. In the next video, I'll show how the door mechanism will work, so I won't go into the details of that here. I'm designing modular mounting surfaces into the bottom shell, so that other builders can mount different hidden payloads in their mouse droids. This could be an automated Nerf gun, a cooler for beverages, a storage locker, whatever you want. Of course, if you also want to use a scrolling LED sign, I'll be releasing all the SDL files needed to duplicate my build. Let's now take a look at how to make your own custom length scrolling LED sign. I looked into buying an existing off-the-shelf scrolling LED sign, but I ran into a number of roadblocks. Finding the exact right size to fit into a mouse droid as well as one that would have a portable power source proved very difficult. And what I came across was not exactly cheap. Hey, only $76 for shipping. I then looked into building my own, and I came across this build. It was exactly what I was looking for. I could customize the length very easily. It was Arduino based and cheap. Boo yeah. So I want to give a shout out to Josh Levine, the person who developed and documented making these custom LED signs. He made a monstrous 12 foot long sign and it's awesome. His website is shown here and I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Check it out if you're interested in making your own sign. Now I'll take you through the process he outlines on his website to make a quick and dirty prototype to test this all out. Once I had the prototype working, I then designed a mount that would work inside the mouse droid. Here you can see the mount itself and how everything is laid out on the back side of the LED sign. We have power buses for the LED strips, a terminal block to pipe each LED strip signal into the Arduino, and finally an HC-05 Bluetooth module for communication. Hopefully this should clean up that prototype a lot. Let's get it printed out and wired up. So here's the fully assembled LED sign. We have the power leads from each strip going to a positive and negative bus made with Wago lever nuts. Shout out to Patrick over at the awesome YouTube channel Patchbots for turning me on to these. These buses are at 5 volts coming from a 3S LiPo which will be stepped down by a voltage regulator. The green signal wires for each strip route to this terminal block 
which allows for those wires to be changed to a cable that can easily interface with the Arduino Uno that controls the LEDs. The Arduino has an HC-05 Bluetooth module hooked up to it so that I can wirelessly send commands from my cell phone. This lets me trigger different messages to be displayed. The Arduino Uno and the Bluetooth module are powered by the 5 volts coming from the step-down LiPo. I initially tried to run the Arduino off a separate battery, but quickly discovered that for Josh's Arduino code, this won't work and a common ground is required. Finally, we have the LED sign mounted into the bottom shell, which was printed in four pieces and then bonded together. Now that we have everything assembled, let's take it for a test drive. So we have the hidden payload integrated and working, which is awesome. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the door mechanism and the rest of the electronics. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you'd like to help the channel grow and tackle bigger projects, please check out my Patreon page. There you can get access to lots of exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.